Remy, get it. Okay, so we're working on Remy's go to bed. Remy, go to bed. Come on, a little bit more. There we go. Good boy. Remy, stay. Okay, so I want to increase the duration that he stays on the mat, so the time that he stays on the mat, and increase the distraction level, okay? And this is tough for a little puppy. This is a lot of like impulse uh, control work, okay? Let me stay. All right, so I'll walk over, touch the door handle, open the door a little bit. Good boy, come back and treat. Now I'm just using his kibble, All right? So this is, this is actually his breakfast. So, you know, stuff like this is a great way to get some training in in the morning. Good boy, so I just keep moving around. I come back and treat. He's not, his whole body isn't on the map, but that's okay for right now. I'll take that. Good boy. Okay, back, open the door. So I'm gonna leave the door open. Yes, stay. Walk over here. Good boy, then. Let me get it. <clears throat> so retreat. Let me go to bed. Uh -uh, come on. That's a little more, a little more. There we go. Let me stay. Yes. Doing really good, you know. But like I said, for a puppy his age, this is this is the really the tough stuff. This is getting him to just lie there, little boy. Okay. <clears throat> so I've had him on the mat for just about a minute. I'd like to be able to work up to three to five minutes at some point, but right now we're at about a minute, which is really good. Okay, I'll treat him one more time. Yes, and I'll tap him on the head. Release. What a good boy. What a good boy. Remember, he doesn't have to move if he doesn't want to, or he can just lie there. It's just letting him know that I'm done building commands. Okay, what a good boy! What a good boy!